Good morning. There's never been such an overused mix of truth and lies, but coffee is what brings sunshine to the day. Mm. So, today I'm just gonna make a little video leading on from the voice leading concept animated video that's on CMG Music Tuition on YouTube, check it out. Check out CMG Music Production as well if you need to know anything about electronic music production. Um, so let's get straight into it. So in the voice leading video, we had four chords. We had A minor seven, D dominant seven, G major seven, and E dominant seven. So the chord of A minor seven contains A, C, E, G. Try and visualize the column of notes, up or down, whatever way you want, left or right. Doesn't matter, it's up to you. I like to see the column. So I got A, C, E, G. And they're all on the fifth fret. Now let's look at that, there's something interesting there. A, C is a string skip, two fifth frets, E, first string. E, third string, G. And the other two notes, E and G, are the exact same, except they're on the second string, B, and on the third string, or sorry, the fourth string, D. Yeah. So we had A, C, E, G, and we know the A is gonna stay, and the C is gonna stay. And the only two notes that are gonna move is E is gonna move down to D, and G is going to move down to F sharp, respectively. So, just like that. The E goes down two frets, the D, and the G goes down to F sharp. Isn't that beautiful? So, if we go from the A minor 7 chord down to our D7 the most minimal movement we can. It's gonna sound really pretty. So now we're on D dominant seven, we got D, F sharp. Hey, that's a string skip too. So D to F sharp was a string skip. And then we got the next two notes, A and C. Well, what do you know? They're string skip from before, A and C. So if you can start to see these patterns, everything in life has a pattern, you know? Talk to Fibonacci about that. So we go from this D dominant seven right here. And we got D, F sharp, A, C. So the D and the F sharp are gonna stay. And the A and C are gonna move. So the A is gonna go down to G. And the C is gonna go down to B. Yeah. And what do you know, it's the same as before. It's exactly the same as before, yeah. So when we go from D down to seven, we're gonna go to G major seven. Ah, that's so pretty. Beautiful. So now we're on G major seven. We gotta make that go to E dominant seven. So it doesn't really follow the same pattern because we've kind of changed the way the chords move. And um, we wanna bring it around in full circle to A minor seven. So we're gonna go to the dominant of A minor and that's gonna give us that melodic push. That's gonna give us the leading note. It's gonna make it just sound so wonderful. 
and give us so many harmonic and melodic possibilities. So the G doesn't move down this time, it moves up in this case. And the F sharp is going to move down E. And the two in the middle, B and D, they're going to stay there like glue, holding the rest together. Suspensions. So let's put them all together and see what it sounds like, huh? Yeah. So if we take that around in a circle, it's gonna sound pretty boring without any, any modifications, right? So that's what happens when you repeat yourself. 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 Do you know what I mean? So we have to keep modifying the sequence so it just moves down and down and down and down or up and up and up and up and up. Or a mixture of down and up. Can't really go any other way in music, can we? We've either got up or we've either got down. Or, you know, if we're playing techno, we can stay in the same place. <laughs> That's fun too, but that's not what the voice leading is. So obviously I can't keep going through every permutation of all the chords. I would be here like forever, would literally be here forever. Bef like beyond time and beyond light. We would be in another dimension. So I'm just going to play a little sequence of these chords. And you'll see, right, so. A minor 7, D dominant 7, G major 7, E dominant 7, A minor 7, D dominant 7, creamy, G major 7, E dominant 7, A minor 7, yeah, look at it. Did you know that one? D dominant 7, did you know that one? G major 7, yeah, E dominant 7, A minus 7, D7, G major 7, yeah, mm, makes me want to change my voice. So let me just go through all those in a, in a, in a kind of orderly fashion with, with a bit of a beat. There's always a mistake somewhere. Could take we could take the A off the top and put it on the bottom. So instead of the five 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 thing on the four three two one string, it's on the six four three one, giving us A G C E in order.
gonna stop now because I could I could I could do that all day. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope that concept makes sense to you. If it doesn't, rewatch the animated video, voice leading concept, or get in touch with uh, the YouTube page or the Facebook page for more information. Thank you very much. You've been watching CMG Music Tuition.